Five things you need to know about the Ordinary. Pycnogenol 5% is their most underrated product. It's such a great antioxidant. It really gives your skin an amazing glow. And I wish that more people loved it. The Ordinary is a large brand now, but has definitely maintained an indie spirit. Uh, the concept is actually born in the labs, not in a marketing meeting. Yeah. Use the Ordinary single ingredient products as a targeted skincare approach. What we were doing in the beginning was still delivering that efficacy and the science by leaning on commodity ingredients. Yeah. Ingredients that have been around for ages and that have been so widely studied and published in literature, in scientific literature. Yeah. It's been a little bit more focused on multi-actives and these are designed with layered ingredients to form a more comprehensive formula. When we wanted to move not only into like multi-active formulas, but also into newer ingredients that weren't commoditized yet, yes. we found that we had to do a lot of extra work. And yeah. because we have that capacity now, it really just made sense for us to move towards it. Yes. NAG has become a signature ingredient for the ordinary. It's used as a gentle approach to exfoliation. NAG was actually studied by Esther Weller quite a bit. Yeah. And works a little differently from typical acids. But if, instead of breaking through the bonds that hold your skin cells together, like alpha hydroxy acids do, yeah. it will fill the place where those bonds would connect in the cell wall. So the cells won't even connect to begin with. We got a little sneak peek of six products coming soon. One product in particular, I think, will totally shift the perception of pricing for this category of ingredients.